Okay, so hi everybody. Welcome to my stream. It is Baldur's Gate 3. It is the only ga game that I play because I don't play video games. It's not my jam. But I have son of a bitch friends and between them and TikTok, they ate my brain. And the thing that ate my brain was shaped like a six foot two pale ass vampire elf named Starion. And here I am. I'm not impressed with myself either. But we are here. Fuck it, we ball. So. This is my second run. Uh, I'm doing Dark Urge. I'm gonna be honest, it's probably gonna be a pretty morally gray Dark Urge. It's probably not going to be too dark. I just don't have fun. I, it, it's just not fun to, for me to be like fully evil just to be evil. But um, yeah, so let's get started. I because I was having technical difficulties. Uh, Ren. What was going on with Ren? Oh, we are about to have our fight at Emerald Grove. Big doings. Okay, so let's see. I am so excited I have Lazel, y'all. I'm so excited. Ugh. Like, I'll be, like, I will be honest and fair. I did, I have, I have been said, I have said that in the past that she is a bit of a buzzkill. Yes. I, and I will stand by that in certain situations. I will stand by that. But. Uh, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Damn it. Um. Exactly. The damage. I'm so excited. I just... I am just so excited to have her fucking tearing ass through everyone. Alright, let's see. Do, 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 do. Who do I want to go after? How about your wiggly little ass? Eh, 42. No. Nope. Alright, I guess it's your ass. Okay, and I'm not going to move forward. I'm going to stay far back here and see what happens. Oh, well, you're going to start trying to push me forward. Get to you. Okay. Well then, eat a dime to the face. Okay. Do, 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 do. Swift and lethal. Swift and lethal indeed. Taste my fury. 
Fuck yes. My path be true. Damn right, girl. My sickle and sword. Strike them down. Trump followers sound like. Um, I'm gonna give it another shot at your stupid ass. Okay. And I have dash. Sweet. I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, Slim Shady, what are Heading you thinking you want to do? Um, ah, the bears. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's go for. I mean, we can use a spell, I suppose. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Guiding. Bam. Oh, and it's a miss. Breathing, despite everything. Okay. On my way. Hmm. Are you? I better heal myself. God damn it. Yes, may my goofy ass play a tune, a jaunty tune to heal my soul. Surge. Yes, please. And then I gotta waste it on your stupid fucking ass. Doubt that it's a Krug. Oh shit, what happened to your friend, Starry? Starry eyes, you were headed for him. Who the fuck clipped him? I haven't even seen that shit happen. Alright, how about you go for Zkrug? 
Thank Christ. Always can count on you, Starry. I'm a starry-eyed stallion. Let's see. Do 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 do. Is it just bugbear? Oh shit. Okay. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you. More may follow. Open the gate. Yeah, man. Open that shit. Damn. But not before I loot every last one of these bodies. I used the ritual staff a while last time. But I do I do know under I understand weapons a lot better now. Hmm. What's inside? Ooh, my gloves of power. I'm just going to equip those bitches again right now. Um, add that to my wares. What do you mean I'm not proficient in scimitars? I swear I specifically picked my class and subclass so I could be good. I, like, Act 1 really is just kind of like a breath of fresh air. I, I, I feel Halson when he talks about just the city being a completely different kind of a vibe. And just, like, so much energy. Just... And the way that the way that this game creates that feeling, especially for someone who has social anxiety and the mental health the problems that I have, like as soon as as soon as we hit I I think I think as as soon as we hit Rivington. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, um, but I know definitely once we get to Lower City, I genuinely what was like having to take breaks every 10 minutes because it was just so much, and I was, it was, I was pan, like I was feeling anxious and panicky. This game really is, it, it's, I, I am, I am proud to be playing a video game when I don't play video games. Like, that is, oh wait, yeah, what do, what do I currently have? The crossbow, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, fuck that. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, I'll add it to my wares. To my wares. Add it to my wares. Oh. Add it 
tout, my wares. Alrighty, let's see if I can get a warg claw or whatever, warg fang. Two of them, hell yeah. Warg fang? At work, dude? Hell yeah, dude. My mom always said, if you just keep a positive outlook on life, that will fit in my things will happen to you, dude. What the fuck did I just pick up? A work fangs? A fuck a work done? Hell yeah, dude! I picked up a goblin? No, I don't want to... No. I want to loot. I want to loot him. Not a goddamn thing. Some goblin boss you were, buddy. Add to wares. Okay, now we can go inside. You should mind my step. And learn about racism. Racism and immigration issues. Let's go back down and talk to Fighty McFight Pants over here. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! me up. I, like, the fact that Bard is, is like, a legit m magical role, like, make, fills me with no small amount of pride. Along with actor, performer, I you're like, I love that that's a thing and that they have made it into a thing that you can use in this world. That being said, <laughs> I'm seeing my happy ass on that nautiloid in this fucking game. And then shit like this when my my bard it's usually bard persuasion it'll sing it'll say shit that you would you would hear and for i uh, just cuz i don't know if y'all watch things of a musical nature has been hotel on Amazon Prime. Run, do not walk. They only do like one, maybe two songs an episode. It's not like it's a musical show. But um, 
the main chick was Katie Heron in the Mean Girls musical, I think. And so that's what I'm thinking of, just like the, the ingenue, just like belting it out. It's like, that 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 is like the kind of shit the bard persuasion stuff is. What's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. Oh, I fucking love this. Oh, hell. Oh, where's my vape? Ow. Okay. Well, obviously, it has to be. What's unbelievable is how we beat the goblins. You're both heroes. Plus seven of eight. Ooh, yes, please. All day. I'm Stephanie. And who the hell are you again? Show some respect. I'm Stephanie. This woman saved your pathetic life. Will I right. ask for any goddamn help? Please, you were though. begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Let's see here. Oh. I have two options for a melee attack. All right. Take a swing at the tiefling. Take a... Oh, aim will blow at the human. Um, if you want me to take both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Stand back and watch. Um, let's see. Hmm. boy like I'm definitely on Zephlor's side like there's kids there's kids on this side like you're a dude you had a mission and not only did you fuck the mission but you are a dude a grown a grown dude like sorry about it you're you're gonna have to fight and hang on for a minute and hopefully you'll make it. Cheers. Like, sorry. But I, I don't know if that... I guess I have to go with persuasion. I mean, it's it's so softball. It's so softball, but it, it's the closest to what... I feel like... Yeah. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough. Squabbling is pointless. You were just worried the about your hide 30 seconds us. ago. At least we agree on that. I love that Gale's work it approves of worrying about way. your own hide. He's not even here and he approved that. He doesn't... He's not... He's not even here! 
He heard it through the weave. Sorry. Um, let's see. What's up, Zevs? I haven't seen you in a Time minute. To to leave. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Ren. What's up? Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. I have no quarrel with the druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Um, why are they forcing you out? There have been Am several I attacks safe? by different mm -hmm. monsters. The druids blame us See? outsiders why for drawing them here. Like that. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Oh. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I need a healer. What brought you here? Um... I've tried. Yeah. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Um, let's see. My head's a wreck. I've got too much else to deal with right now. Well, my head is a wreck. It's currently being eaten by a small tadpole worm. Perhaps if you could help me find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Enough with the ritual. I have my own problems. Really? We're messengers now. We owe you oh, a great relax, debt. Baby. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Yeah. All right. 
What's up, Aaron? <coughs> Would you like to see my wares? No, you just care about your stupid. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you walking down the grove? I know it's drastic. Sounds like but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. LA. Was there another bomb threat at the mall? Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. Dire times, high stakes, I understand. Seems like most are tieflings. They'll be fine. They have devilish powers. <sighs> um. I mean. As I said, it's a drastic go measure. Back to your but the survival of the country. grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Such bullcrap. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Sell my wares. Sylvanas, guide your path. Yep, yep, whatever. This is about your... Bells! We can't just leave! They're kin! I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay! These people aren't fighters. We can help! Or yell louder. That's fine too. Okay, say nothing. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Persuasion, you should all stay. A single blade could make a difference or leave. I would like to do persuasion. Persuaded it did. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by goblin blade. Thank you, Roland. How long until Roland shows off his thunder? We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. Um, you're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. Why the rush to leave? 
Leave on your own. Why wait? Run then and run scared. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. That's some tough shit to say. Um... You don't understand. Why My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, uh, that's yeah, Laroa Kent. The greatest wizard it. in Baldur's Gate. So, I have like no memory, but... I remember that he is Laroken of Ramesses Tower. Ah, oh, fuck it, sure. His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. God damn. We can at least make a run for it. Okay, let's go talk to some ox. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Too. You have the smell, but I do not think so. You are not like the keepers here. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Shiny bits, the tieflings put something in your hay. Cheer up, you do a noble thing, carrying bur burdens for those who can't. That's nice. <clears throat> when the horned ones leave this place, I will lie in the back and you will pull, noble one. All right. Little fuck face. Huh? You're addressing me? A humble ox. Mm. How quaint. There's something strange about this ox. What is it? Creature isn't what it appears to be. That's all you have to say. More to you than meets the eye. <laughs> um. No. You are incapable. Uh. 
come on old chap, I'm a devil for gossip. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. Huh. Tick tock. Funny. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. If we Again. left, we could at least make a run for it. Swing and swing. Carry it. No. Well. This seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. Oh, I want to... I still don't have a fucking shovel or anything. What's up, Donny? Hmm. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm-hmm. Are you all right? You sure, buddy? I see anything else on your mind? Mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the What's ordinary. Back there, bro. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Search dim rocks. Search dim rocks. Search dim rocks. Search dim rocks. Let's use the inspiration. Do I have... Uh, I have a guide, so let's do a guide. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. I believe Maul will not be pleased to see me right now. Haha, uh -huh. that looks like a dick. <laughs> that looks like a really misshapen dick. So what's your side of the business, honey? What? 
Um, I'm the guard, so don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Okay. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take the ring. Call it. Heads or tails? Um... Let's pocket that shit. Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. It's only a joke. Come Real on, sweet sense of humor you got there, chum. Anyways, you got a call before the flip. Heads or tails? Um, heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Um... Hold on, one coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Um, heads. No. No heads. Heads! There. Happy? Not yet. Flip the coin again. Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? Tails, bitch. Tails it is! There. Happy? Um. Here, take your ring. You got off. it. Want One to set. see your wares? That's what I got. Show me your wares. Thieves tools, exactly what I'm looking for. And a shovel to boot. I'll take that alcohol as well. And that dried beef snow sage Good, I guess. You bought something. Most everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. Collecting junk is a hobby of mine. Really? Good thing we met then. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You realize your bag feels light. You were just robbed. Oh. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? Have you taken Me? some shit? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. Yeah, what you about know who you should sister? talk to? Mal. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. You bet. Good luck, pal. Again. Um. I 
I've been robbed. Me? Suspicious? No? Yeah, um... Tell me the truth or I'll feed you to a bear, little kid. Credit one! Let me be mean to nice the kid. Nice try. The bears are nice here. Um... I think. What? No, no! We didn't do anything! Me and Mattis and Mo, we just... <sighs> um... I wasn't supposed to say her name! Anyway, I won't say anything else! You can't make me! Even if you murder me! Before you can say anything else, she sprints away. Chance I'll fit in there. to like really deal with the moles. Spoil the last. Pretty, 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 pretty. Just wanted to check. Wanted to check. Wanted to check. I just want to check. I think no, I need to change no. my skin tone. I really feel that I look sickly. I guess or my hair. Skin or hair. Skin or hair. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. And I hear you have a problem. A few things are missing from your pack. Is that right? Maybe we can do something about this. Anyway, mm. you want to talk? Talk. <laughs> Why are you running all these schemes and swindles? Risky, you know. Thought you might need help with something. I'm shy a few of my belongings. One of your associates robbed me. Do you have anything to trade? I'm shy a few of my belongings. Maybe you one bitch. of the kids picked up something of yours by mistake. I couldn't say. Might help if you pay the inspection fee. I could take a look. Give me what's mine or I'll rip your bloody tail off. Okay. I'm sure this was a misunderstanding. My things cost me a lot. I really need them back. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not giving you anything. Mm. 
them. I don't want to kill a bunch of kids. That's not going to go over well. You know, I haven't saved lately anyway. Smoss and... Ooh, 15. That's steep. Not 20! The rats, huh? The stone's on you. Have it your way. Here you go. Won't happen again. And to make sure none of the kids on the job outside mess with you, show them this. Copy the gesture. You got it. Now, we done here or what? Um, why are you running all these schemes and swindles? Uh the there's nothing else to be said. Um... We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Boulder's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? I'm not your mother. Do as you please. Didn't need your permission. But fine. Do you have anything to trade? More thieves tools, love it. Oof, those are both 52. Yeshies. Um, you know what? I will sell that to you. Or ice knife. And no, we're keeping shanties or bitch queen. I'll sell you grease bottles so I have enough for magic missile. And yeah, I'll take the tater. Yoink. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. An idol? What'll you do with something like that? I could help you get it, but my time is valuable to me. I'll see what I can do. Count me out. I'm not getting involved.
Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. All right, an idol. What'll you do with something like that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Oh, man, this breaks my heart. Because doing this basically signs my fate away, having no shot at Helsin. Okay, I need to I need to role play for a second. I need to think like my character for a second. Okay. Ren is conflicted. She's also got a lot on her fucking plate right now. I'm, yeah, two. Count me out. Figures. Don't think you've got the stones for the job anyhow. Anything else? There's nothing to be said for then, now. Then, we're done here. You got your junk back. Take it and get out. Relax, bitch. Nothing Let's will give see. me more pleasure than to get the fuck on up out of here. Okay, let's see what my lock picking skills are like again. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Try to some palms. These things over. Oh, because that went so well last time. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. See? They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. 
breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. See, you deserve to be punished, like you said, it's your fault. Um, she's just a child, the druids are overreacting, I'll talk to them, I think is the response. Thank you, they won't give us the time of day. Hurry, I'm, just I'm at the end of my tether as is, can't right. take this waiting! She must be terrified. I bet she's giving them hell. She's not our kid for nothing. Keep this up and you'll have blood. Lives are at stake. And the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We, yeah. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Yep. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Dirt kissers. So they saw salt burn, I guess. <laughs> I'm funny. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Yeah, if it weren't for me, be overrun by goblins by now, I'll go where I please. Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws! A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Ugh. Oh, Korga and her little yeah. chit-chats. Yes, I see. Ah, uh, I do wish. I Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully. And adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. <laughs> oh, boss. I'm, I'm so sorry, honey. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. my good friend you were at the gates just now no when yes. the goblins came you yep. saw them up close a I few questions if you too. please there's no overstating my true. interest i wasn't in the towers but i was in new york i was like on the island yeah Clearly, I need to um, relax a little more. Um. Uh. 
I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. I have two bard options. Oh, shit. Okay. So, bard option one. A classic raid gang, complete with lasher and smattering of booyags. And then, didn't you see the tentacled ship? It was an illithid invasion force. The goblins were being controlled. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Ye gods! Can it be? How terribly compelling. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? <laughs> Dragons? Really? How gosh. Witness declined to comment on nature of dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? Quite so. They sang the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Dramatic. How has Maglaviet responded? Like, it's... <laughs> Some sort of, like... Media mudslinging or something. Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Um... Be careful, goblins aren't known for mercy. Wait. About our conversation earlier, why the dragon? What brought you to the wilds in the first place? Uh, what? Well, yeah, what about you? Goblins, obviously. Well, someone ought to chronicle these curious events. I'd heard the master of this place, a druid called Halson, might be able to point me in the right direction. But he's been quite captured by them already. Ironic, really. Oh, be careful. Goblins aren't known oh, for mercy. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an uh, invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? Mm. Drama? Hmm. Keep their confidence, if you insist. <laughs> I've never heard this part. What? What else are you saying about us?
right, well, this, this is not compelling. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Yes, yes, I'm quite aware. My goodness gracious. Speak. Um. Doesn't look like you're helping with the ritual. The ritual is Corcus' decision. But she is not our leader. Master Halson welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. My goodness, okay. Um... I'm looking for... Uh, okay, hit something? Okay. Um... I'm looking out for a healer to do. Help me narrow the search. Um. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? Ed. I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked their poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Well, what's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, 
Lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. I knew this was going to get weird. I knew this was going to get weird. Whew. All right. Um, flick your eyes through the exit so the child will try to run. That's fucked up. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Nature. Don't druids cherish harmony. Generally, the girl disrupts nature's balance. Persuasion. Release her all. See, she stays out of trouble. Bard. Persuasion. Sylvanas was more concerned with nobly sown seeds than punishing children, was he not? Yeah, that that sounds like a crazy thing to say right now. I'm I'm going with that. Sylvanas was more concerned with nobly sown seeds than punishing children, was he not? I've heard enough. The devil remains until the rite is complete. I'll go with imprisoning her empowers the refugees. Are you willing to risk insurrection? Oh, and I've got advantage. Well, thank fuck for that. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just- Clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Um, let's see. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Um, let's turn to other matters. Um... Um, but I'm 
Here we go. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget uh. you ever saw it. Okay. a manner of irresistible desperation about you. I like it. Warp off Melissa. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? I would love to talk to the baby. Uh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? I just want to give you smell. No, wait. You smell fresh. Safe. You can stay if you must. Shadowheart approved of that? Even though it was a wolf? Um. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Shadow Heart? Fuck you, bitch. Everyone's frightened of something. My fear's hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those things. I don't want. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me, so far. Maybe if you can... Don't make me face any more of them. At least... Not alone. Um... I'll try to avoid wolves in the future where possible. Everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. We can scarcely afford to show weakness right now. I hope this won't be a problem. That sounds like something a mafia boss would say. Wolves, though, really? They're just dogs with no table manners. That's If that's not the whitest white girl attitude... They're just puppies that live outside. Everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. The rat glares at you, but says nothing. Okay. The rat doesn't respond. It simply bares its teeth. Okay. A 
thought you were Halsey. The ball prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Halsey? Promise me a mate. Concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Trinkets will rust, friend. A song shines on forever. Give it a try. Ah, uh. <clears throat> he lets out a tentative chirp. Gaining confidence, he starts a song, abandoning his nest-building efforts. Banana bread at work, dude. What did I tell you? <laughs> Yes, I see. No, no, I don't. Holy God, I'm sad. Ah, I do wish I could understand you. Why am I blanking? Oh, shit. That's right, she's like back behind. God damn it. The Druids don't care about us is the George Bush doesn't care about black people of this game and both are correct. Um... Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> What's up, Nettie? I see you. Just give me a moment. Wait, this may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Um. Healing looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Um, let's see. Yeah, everything about me is sick. The dizzy spells, the memory loss, the illithid parasite. I'm, I'm gonna fear or save. Snoss, snoss, snoss. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh... I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. 
I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Okay. Okay. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Spike? Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Um... The drow. That definitely looked like a human, but whatever. Um... Is everyone being captured by mind players these days? Didn't think it was a common experience. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands Eddie, these you're things. Getting weird. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'll take anything that will help. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. An intellect devourer spoke to me as if I were one of its own. No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. Um... Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. I don't know, I just woke up with it. You're asking a lot of questions. Look, are you going to cure me or not? Um, on a mind flayer ship. A mind flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about this that branch of yours? No, I'm not taking poison from a woman I can't trust. Um I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. 
There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. That's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? <laughs> the thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I'll find Helson. It sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. You sure he can cure me? That sounds like suicide. I won't do it. Um. Thank you. It would mean everything to the group. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Yes, ma'am. time, Nettie. Come on. Why burn poison? Okay. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. I think it is time to turn in for the night. Anybody watch it, chat? So this is Starian. Oh, okay. Oh, well and not as bad as okay. I could have. Let's level everybody up. Oh wait. Let's say Arcana. Let's say Insight. Let's say do do do. do. Ba, 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 ba. Let's 
let's go with athletics. Spells. Calm emotions. Silence of shatter already. Make yourself our target immune to frightened and gain five temporary. Hit points each turn. Each turn? What? Oh, absolutely. Okay, you preserve the bit. You pursue beauty and truth, collecting knowledge from scholarly tomes to peasants' tales, and use your gifts to hold both audiences and enemies spellbound. Subclass features cutting words. Use your wit to distract a creature and sap its confidence. College of Valor. Okay. Sorry, guys, my eyes are. While you wander the land to witness and relate the deeds of the mighty, keeping alive the memory of heroes of the past and inspiring heroes of the future. Oh, bardic inspiration, gotcha. Whoa. College of Swords. A highly trained and skilled warrior, you use your prowess with words and weapons to fight and entertain in equal measure. I mean, like, this is really... This is so... This is so attractive right now. So attractive. I get all of these actions. See, this is... Thrust your weapon... Okay, wait. Attack up to two enemies once. See, that's... An... Oh, God. Anytime I have the chance to do that... Oh. Attack defensively, increasing your armor class by four if you hit. Attack defensively, increasing your armor class by four if you hit. Thrust your weapon with enough force to push your target back six meters. Afterwards, you can teleport to the target. I mean, I... 
So what's dueling versus two hand fire? When you are wielding a melee weapon that is not two-handed or versatile and no weapon in the other, you deal an additional... No, I want to do two-weapon fighting. Um... I'm good. Okay, you are good to go, I think. Um, ooh. Let's... Let's take Prayer of Healing out again, and let's put Silence in. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, but then there's Crate and Destroy Water. Let's see. We can touch. Cannot wait to get you out of that outfit. Um, okay. Arcane Trickster. Okay. Wow, I can craft this from the start. I feel like I didn't get to do that before. Because I also found him quite late last time. Ray of Frost. Shocking Grasp is very... Very helpful. Ooh. Yeah, let's do poison spray. Um, spells. Disguise and charm. What what does charm do again? Can't attack spellcaster. Spellcaster has advantage on charisma checks and dialogue. Okay, um, roll two dice and use higher value. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. you know what? I may be more inclined to try to use sleep. Let's do Ice Knife. Oh, my leveling up my value. 
Okay. Direct an ally. Spend a superiority die to make an attack that deals an additional 1d8 damage. Possibly forces the target to drop the weapon. Oh. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Distract your target, giving your ally advantage on their next attack roll. Turn to attack target. Damage. Um, spend spear hard and make the attack. Deals additional 1d8 damage. Hit. Expend a superior to die to grant an ally eight temporary hit points. What? Hell yes. Messes you with a melee attack. Expend a superiority die to retaliate with a powerful strike that deals an additional 1d8 damage. Definitely a good one. Swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc attack drive only once. For damage. I don't know. Um. Forget to drop their weapons. Disarming. They're sweeping. Disarming, I think. Yeah. Okay. Now, you want to talk. Hmm. What's up? Do you mind? I was rather enjoying my view of the ceiling. I didn't mean to disturb such important work. You seem more relaxed. Am I disturbing you? No. Just thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? What, will you miss me? <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Um, 
I thought you didn't like me, considering my approval rating. This is a very delicate situation that I'm currently in, because this is... This didn't happen for me the first time around. It's happening. It's happening the second time around. Um, I'm going with... I thought you didn't like me. You have your charms more than you think. The smile on his pretty lips is a touch too composed, a bit too perfect. He may not mean a word he says. Watch yourself, Astarian. Oh. You're no fun. Sleep tight. I'll see you later. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh. No, who wants to speak to me? Shades? Oh. Oh, oh, shit, I keep forgetting. I have someone I've never had in camp before. Let's get shades done. God, I'm so hungry. We're gonna go to sleep. And then... The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Jesus. What the fuck? You know, this could be our last night together. I hadn't thought of that. What do you have in mind? Oh, suddenly you're all sweet. We could find somewhere discreet right now, away from the camp. I have panic saved. I've panic saved. Perhaps we should wait for more comfortable surrounds. Besides, I can't afford to tie you out. We still have work to do. Rest well. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hi, Lizelle. Kalek. I remember who I was in Kreshkalea. I was hungry to face my first gig. My sword pined for their blood. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Faerun isn't so bad. Give it a chance. You want to do battle up where? What do you mean by the tears? Next time you're able, look to the sky. Watch the moon cross it. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Are all Githyanki from the tears? It must be quite a shock to leave your crash behind and arrive here. Yeesh. Yeah. You're... Curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. 
It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. But enough Jesus. of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Oh, okay. All right, well, now we sleepy buys. All right, now we sleepy buys. Why you crazy? <sighs> anybody want to chat this morning looks good okay I'm calling it a night but I will be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, same bat time same bat channel doing exactly what we're doing here and uh, yeah it's been a joy we are on that Astarian train, people. We are on that Astarian train. Anyway, uh, I love y'all and have a good night.